Are you ready? Legacy Point is a student-centered neighborhood school that uses the Leader in Me framework to develop student leaders. Hi, Riley. How are you? They come out of the car and we receive them. Have a good one. And it's a handoff that you, that you feel good about. And it all starts with, with our, our mission, which is learn, live, love, laugh, and leave a legacy. The mission was chosen purposefully because it is a Stephen Covey quote. We added the learn in front of it. It's pretty much saying, do whatever you can to be a leader and to leave a good legacy. It brings all the seven habits in one. The beauty of it is that these seven habits aren't things that that are necessarily new. But at the same time, they, they add structure to your life. They, they really help you kind of focus on what's important. To leave a legacy is to like leave something that will make memories. There's something that you learned inside of you. Through these, through these, you know, these habits and these, and these skills and these principles that they're gaining, they're learning how to be self-aware, they're learning about responsibility, they're learning how to set goals and achieve goals and put in plans to, to work towards that. And I think with the leader in me, that's starting to put a little bit more language into, into what we value here. The leader in me is a framework that we use here at Legacy Point, and it's a framework of timeless principles that will cross over into any aspect of one's life. I think the first thing that you're gonna feel is, is there's, these students have a voice. If at any time, when you walk through the hallways at Legacy Point, if a student isn't doing the right thing at the right time in the right place, all you need to say is, are you being a leader? Our district mission is learn today, lead tomorrow, so that we learn how to be leaders now and then we get a teacher later. tomorrow. Yeah, pretty much. And that's why it's called Leader in Me. And it's not technically leading everyone through what they're supposed to do, but it's like being a role model. It's effort affects outcome and it also affects the people around you. It, it's taking all of that language and just really blending it together to empower them to be successful in, in really all areas, social, um, you know, personal, professional, academic, whatever. If we do good things, then maybe somebody else would follow through with us and they'd do good things too. Everybody has their PVPs. Well, how it carries into the academic part is it goes right along with the four C's and 21st century skills. Ooh, so you can, obviously, academics are a tremendous part of school, but we're, we're able to provide them with skills and principles that, that help those, that academic piece become very successful to them, very relatable to them, very achievable to them. They'll keep it all encompassing. Every student at Legacy Point has a leadership notebook, and inside the leadership notebook, it begins with setting a wildly important goal or a wig. Writing down goals is like, um, it's an opportunity to try new things. Our, yeah. We have mission statements in our class, and that is pretty much saying how we will be leaders in our classroom. In my mind, one of the greatest assets of successful people is that goal-setting piece. And so here we are empowering kids, kindergartners, first graders. I mean, you're watching this happen right in front of you. That's what makes us so smart. They already know they want to go to college, and they're trying to figure out where. And it's, it's not a question of, can I go? It's I am going to go because I'm in charge of my learning and this is how I'm going to make it happen because I've set a goal for myself. And I get better and better and then I know how to do it. And so we're empowering these kids to understand that yes these goals are great but now let's talk about a plan. Let's talk about some some principles that you could call on to help you achieve those goals. So I added the eight plus four. And the reason we do this is because we're trying to be a official leadership school, which is lighthouse status. Which really just means that we're a beacon within the community of leadership. So once you get that, the intrinsic uh, part of the framework, and they just, that's who they are, and that's who they want to be, and that's who they aspire to be by setting goals, by using their leadership notebook, by being in charge of their learning, it's how they treat one another, how they're working in small groups, it's, it's intrinsic for them. It all comes back to what, what, what we value here, and what we embrace, and that, and that is that these kids can be leaders, and if you're not allowing them to have that voice in the classroom, 
well then, uh, of course they're not going to want to, you know, really strive towards anything because now they're being kind of stifled. And, and you'll see that philosophy carried out because we have an incredible staff here at Legacy Point that cares deeply and understands that they need to tie in not only timeless principles, but they also need to tie in the four C's, they need to tie in 21st century skills, and there's a way to do that um, successfully by creating a culture of positive teamwork that can happen in any classroom at any time with any set of students. And then you're ready to go beyond.